this is going to be one of the most important videos you watch is how to clean underneath the throat plate of your Singer soy machine. Now, if you have a machine with a drop-in bobbin like this, it doesn't matter which model you have, follow this video, follow my tips and tricks for understanding all these little things that will make your sewing machine run smoothly as you go. Now, we also recommend that once a year, you have your machine professionally serviced at your local sewing machine store, and they'll take care of the rest. But you and I need to keep this free and clear of any lint. Now, what are some linty fabrics? We're talking about fleece and flannel, some of that minky and fur fabric a lot of you like to use. But even when I work on cotton fabric and, co and batting, that all kind of gets sunk down in this area and before you know it if you're sewing along and a thread breaks it's sometimes because this is full of lint so I recommend that you do this every three to five bobbins and you'd be surprised how much lint you'll pull out of this as you sew so if you're are kind of realizing it's been a while since you've peeked underneath. Let's do this together. You're gonna need your screwdriver. And with this machine, it is gonna look like this. If you have a brush that came with your machine, this is gonna be fabulous. I even have one that's kind of like a big kind of dust it. Uh, these are wonderful. I'll put a link below in the description if you wanna add one of these to your Amazon cart uh, going forward. I love these. So start by unthreading your machine and taking the bobbin out. So that's pretty common at this point. Next, you're gonna take and loosen these screws. So once you kind of get them loosened, you'll find you can kind of take your finger and give them a little twirl, and then they'll just kind of work their way on up. So usually once I get them a little loose, a couple times, a little bit more, then that, this plate will come right on up. Okay, so twist. That aside. Then you're just gonna lift this whole part up however you wanna do it. I'm gonna just take my little screwdriver and give it a little lift. You can see everything's attached, so just slide it right out to the side. The last thing that you're gonna take out is the bobbin case. So that's this little black basket that your bobbin has been sitting in. Now this is a fairly clean machine because it's brand new, uh, but right in here, this whole basket is gonna get full of lint. You might even get some lint. I got a this not much at all, but you can brush here. You wanna brush here. Here's what you don't wanna do. You don't wanna blow any lint because uh, what's gonna happen is you're gonna blow it further into the machine. And you don't wanna use canned air. Canned air is a big no-no. It's, again, it's gonna bring some out, but a lot more goes in further this way, and that's not good. Here's how I, why I like this, is because I can go like this, and literally it just like wants to come right on out. It's like a little Swiffer for your soy machine. There is also one little part right down in the bottom center, and it looks like a piece of lint. Now what it is, is a wick. Now I know oil does not come with this machine, but if you bought some soy machine oil, a couple drops down in the center of that will go to where the lubrication of this area can stay nicely um, lubricated. Now, here's a little tip too. See that big hole in the center of your bobbin case? You don't even have to take this plate off to get to that hole, because you could actually drop the oil right down through there, because that's the center. And then you can put your bobbin back in and keep on sewing. But it's always a good idea to get in here and clean it out. So brush it out nice and good. Here's the trick for getting this back in, because if you don't get it in correctly, and so you might need to kind of maneuver this. I know sometimes I've had to kind of, kind of slide it back in and underneath. I'm gonna give it a little push here. Here is what you're looking at. See that little black heel? There is, oh yeah, let me get that back where it needs to go. It, there's really only one place it sits. Barely wiggles, but it's nice and flush to the whole rest of the moving parts. See this bumping up against that spring? That's what you want. So just make sure that little black heel of the bobbin case isn't like over here on this side um, and past that area. That's what you're lining up. At this point, take your throat plate, just kind of set it back down. It'll be nice and smooth. That's when you know you have it correctly. Place the screws and tighten them up. And you just need them tight. You don't need to have them like totally 
crank down because you're going to be in here in about five bobbins or less uh, to clean this again. So there's that hole down the middle. You might be able to see you can um, get to the oil area there. Soy machine oil is very specific. It's very lightweight. Don't buy anything that doesn't say soy machine oil. And if you have older oil, it might be time to replace it if it's starting to look a little yellow. So if you've had anything from older machines, you might just treat yourself to a new uh, small bottle of oil and then that will be great. So clean oil, put a new needle in. We've got videos that talk about changing your needle and correct tips for doing that. And then again, after you get everything back together, I would recommend that you sew on the machine, make sure that everything got back together correctly. And then that way you're all set to go. So do this on a regular basis. Take your machine in to be professionally cleaned once a year. And trust me, this is how you get a machine to last longer and you're not just replacing it after a couple years. Take the time to clean it out. Maybe do it before you start a new project or if it's been a messy project, maybe do it once you're done. I hope you'll check out all our video tutorials on the Singer Elite CE677 and everything that you might be curious about for bobbins and needles you can find in the description below.